There's a growing body of work across our country looking at the quantification of natural resources and nature-based solutions in the environment. If you think about the community that you live in, many of us take for granted the green space, the high water quality and access to water, the clean air that we are afforded in the places that we live. What we're working on here at Geosyntech is helping municipalities, helping communities and their leaders identify what the dollar value is of these natural resources. So think about a watershed that you live in. If that water is clean and you can use it for recreation, you can use it for fishing, you can swim in it, you don't think about the value of that water body. But if it's polluted, if it's contaminated with something, then you can actually think about, I don't wanna be in a community where there's polluted water. And so what's the value to you as a community member, as a, as a property owner, as a homeowner of these natural resources? And so communities across the country are starting to look at how to measure the quantified value of these natural resources in their communities, both for education and awareness purposes for community members, but also as a tool that municipalities can use to approve or disapprove of land use changes development in their communities. If somebody wants to come in and put a condo unit in a place where there's a green space, then they have the scientific data based on the value for community benefits of saying, no, we're not gonna approve that. The work that we do in looking at the quantified and qualitative value uh, of different natural resources, nature-based solutions, environmental solutions, spreads across a number of different aspects of the environment, social, and governance space. So at a really high level, looking at environmental outcomes like cleaner air, like cleaner water, like healthier soil, they have impact on the social aspects of our communities and they produce community benefits that are both quantifiable and qualitative. And this comes into play also in terms of environmental justice assessment aspects looking at high level screening of where there is green space, where there isn't green space. This is all part of the work that we do in community benefits and the work that we do in helping municipalities quantify the, the benefits to communities and the people that are taxpayers and their, their residents.